Making baby food from fresh, local fruits and vegetables from your farmer's market will not only ensure that you're giving your baby the most nutritious, nutrient-dense ingredients, but it also means you know exactly what you're feeding them. You're in control of making sure there are no added ingredients, like salt, sugar, or preservatives. Here's another perk. Homemade baby food doesn't have to be processed under high temperatures to maintain shelf stability, so you don't lose any of those precious nutrients. And if you're wondering whether you have time to add yet another task to your ever-growing list, consider this, you can prepare your homemade baby food while you are prepping your own food for the week. 1. Green Bins and Avocado Puree Servings, 1 and 1 half cups Ingredients 1 cup green beans, washed, and trimmed, 1 small avocado, peeled, and pit removed, 2 tablespoons water, optional, 1 clove garlic. Instructions, in a steamer basket, place green beans, and garlic, if you're using it, in a steamer basket. In a large pot, add about 1 half cup water, and place the basket inside the pot. Note, the water should not be touching the steamer basket cover, and bring to a gentle simmer for 5 to 7 minutes, or until green bins are bright green and tender. Remove from heat, and let bins cool. In a food processor or blender, add cooled green beans, avocado, garlic, and water, and blend until smooth. Portion into individual containers and refrigerate up to 3 days, or freeze up to 3 months. 2. Strawberry and Pear Puree. Servings. 1 cup Ingredients 1 cup strawberries, hulled, 1 small pear, peeled, and cored Instructions In a steamer basket, place peeled, cored pear In a large pot, fill about 1 half cup water, and place the basket inside the pot Note, the water should not be touching the steamer basket Cover, and bring to a gentle simmer for 5 minutes Remove from heat, and let pear cool in a food processor or blender, add cooled pear and strawberries, and blend until smooth. Portion into individual containers and refrigerate up to 3 days, or freeze up to 3 months. 3. Green Peas and Asparagus Puree Servings, 2 cups Ingredients, 1 cup green peas, 1 cup asparagus, 2 to 3 tablespoons water. Instructions, Wash Asparagus and trim off woody ends. Cut into 1 to 2 inch pieces. In a steamer basket, place asparagus and peas. In a large pot, add about 1 half cup water, and place the basket inside the pot. Note, the water should not be touching the steamer basket. Cover and bring to a gentle simmer for 8 to 10 minutes. Remove from heat, and let vegetables cool. In a food processor or blender, add asparagus, peas, and water, and blend until smooth. Portion into individual container and refrigerate up to 3 days, or freeze up to 3 months. 4. Mango, Carrot, and Sweet Potato Puree. Servings, 3 cups. Ingredients, 1 small sweet potato, 1 cup carrots, scrubbed, 1 cup mango, peeled, 1 fourth cup water. Instructions, Heat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Wash sweet potato and use a fork to pierce holes around the outside. Wrap tightly in foil and bake 45 minutes, or until tender. Wrap carrots in a separate piece of foil and bake 30 minutes or until tender. Remove from the oven, and let cool. Remove skin from the sweet potato. In a food process or blender, add cooled sweet potato, carrots, mango, and blend until smooth. Portion into individual container and refrigerate up to 3 days, or freeze up to 3 months. 5. Gale, Kiwi, and Banana Puree. Servings, 1 cup. Ingredients, 1 cup kale, stems removed, and chopped, 1 large ripe banana, peeled, 2 kiwis, peeled. Instructions, in a steamer basket, place gale. In a large pot, Add about 1 half cup water, and place the basket inside the pot. Note, the water should not be touching the steamer basket. Cover and bring to a gentle simmer for 5 minutes. Remove from heat, and let pear cool. 
in a food processor or blender, add kale, banana, and kiwi, and blend until smooth. Portion into individual container and refrigerate up to 3 days, or freeze up to 3 months. The fun thing about shopping at the farmer's market is the endless possibilities of what you can create from your haul. If you've been worried about food waste in the past, you can rest easy knowing that not only are you making the best use of your produce, but you're also feeding your baby the best they can possibly eat. And if you need another reason, remember that making your own baby food, even just for a few meals a week, is environmentally friendly and supportive of local businesses. Everyone wins. If you're worried about whether some foods are safe for your baby to eat, it's best to leave them out until you know for sure. Also, play around with ingredients. If you know your baby loves apples but not pears, alter the recipe. With that said, always ask your doctor if you're unsure about what age you can safely introduce solids and new foods to your baby. If your baby shows any signs of intolerance or has an allergic reaction, consult your doctor immediately.